not look impressed thus far. She looks like she's about to walk the plank, I'll tell you that much. She might. How many more of those you got? You got a bunch? Well, when yeah, when Kevin's here, I tend to go overboard. That's good. I'm scared I'll you're going to you I'm scared bit. you're going to rein me in. There. You're going <laughs> to keep me in place. Certainly uh, just substituting for the great Kevin Condren, who couldn't make it tonight, but we wish him the best. And I'm sure Kate, we'll see him here again. Katarina is really not happy with that little stuffed animal duck. I don't think the fans should be putting the stuffed animal in the ring, but nonetheless, a uh, collar and elbow tie up in the middle of the ring. Please leave your stuffed animals outside the confines of the squared circle. And a curtsy. Taya Valkyrie has so much grace. Taya, I, Taya is sort of like the enforcer of bar wrestling. Yes. You got to you want to prove yourself here. You got to go through the she actually, loca. she actually jumps people in before the match. <laughs> yeah. Katarina goes straight around and takes a rear waist lock from the back. She's a cool. She's a cool woman. She's a funky lady. That's what she is. Especially for a Canadian. It looks like Katarina looking to go for a suplex, but unable to power through, and now in a precarious position. Oh, wow. Headlock takeover from Taya Valkyrie. Valkyrie wanting to wear down her opponents. Doesn't matter if she wrestles women, men. She'll probably wrestle a bear and win, as tough as Taya Valkyrie is. Chupacabra. And a tough test for Katarina Lee tonight at Bar Wrestling. Oh, wow. Look at that. The forearm so hard it knocked her bandana up to the top rope. Looked like a video game right there. Ah, it was a little bit of a diss. When you knock someone's do-rag off, that's a diss. Yeah. I haven't had my do-rag knocked off in like 20 years. <laughs> well. And I was pissed. Well, it's because no one messes with you, Christian. Come on. Nonetheless, Katarina now jawing with the fans. and Oh, my gosh. And a kick to the midsection. And this is that vicious streak that we know about. From La Huera Loca, Taya Valkyrie, but a great reversal. Caught on the rope and a big boot to the face of Katarina. Ducks a clothesline, does Taya, and a kick to the stomach. Competitive contest here between two experienced female wrestlers. Taya, ring veterans. Taya is so confident she had a moment to there celebrate right in the middle of the ring with the fans. Much, much to the joy of the fans here. Me and you too, Troy. I, I like uh, it. Good. Baldwin Park. I'm a big fan of Taya. In the door. Look at now, one of the opposite rope, coming in like, oh my God, with speed, she just turns around and gives her all that, of that every, glute. That was everything she got. A ton of glutes right there, and Whoa. a full double knee. She gave Katarina what her mama gave her. And a cover now. One, two, just two. And yes. And Katarina taking a break now. She's gonna Katarina. go to the outside. She might be trying to get a bourbon Katarina and soda. Lee. Can I call her Katie? Can I call her Katie Lee? You can call her whatever you want, man. She's, a, she's an incredible woman. She's a, one of the nicest people you'll meet in the no, back. Ka Ka Catherine Hepburn, let me call her. Did she really? Katie. Oh, yeah, that's fun fact. Loud yeah. fact. My voice just cracked right there. That was a unique hey. moment for the broadcast. Hey, it's been a long two matches. <laughs> and now they're brawling on the outside. This is starting to get this serious. This has turned into a Memphis brawl now. Right here. And, and from this position, folks, we don't really have a view of what's going on, but I heard a big thud right there. Did you hear we, that we thud? Don't have, we don't have a view, but I heard acoustically what's going on, and it sounds like someone just got their head slammed. It was a massive head slam, it seemed, but it could have been a kick to the elbow, because we don't know. That looked like Taya went head first into the post. As Katarina now makes her way into the ring, and she is gloating for all of these bar wrestling fans to give her some feedback, and it's not good. Oh my God, double bird now. Oh, triple quadruple bird. Wow, so many birds flying tonight in Baldwin Park. And look at Katarina, pan full of hair, boom. Right into that corner turnbuckle. Head first. She could have had some head trauma there when she hit that pole. Oh, big chop now to the top of the chest. Set her up again. And those overhand chops are very unique to Katarina, but now she's in trouble. And Oh my God, you can feel the thud. Katarina fighting out of the corner. Quite the brawl here between these two. And the pace that this match began with is not the current pace. We're now seeing a faster pace and a more vicious pace for Katarina with that beautiful standing suplex in the center of the ring. Oh my goodness. She's gone full heel now. She's just gripping at the forehead. I guess I haven't, I guess I did get a chance to see too much of Katarina's in-ring, the cover there. 
I didn't get to see her too much in the ring. How much research the, do you do? She was in the Fed. I, you know, she was she was she was at ringside a lot. She was in the ring. I didn't really get to see this vicious mean streak that she yes. has. She's a she's a brawler. This Katarina Lee. What I seem to notice is that she came in and wanted to match the intensity of Ty. She started off slow, but now brawling very carefully with Ty. Oh my gosh! Beautiful Samoan drop into a cover. One, two, and just two and a half. Dropped her hard with that Samoan drop. X marks the spot. Taya trying to get feeling in that right arm. Katarina notices it and goes right after it. Smart move there by the Pirate Princess. Possibly looking for some sunken treasure here. Maybe a little booty. Possibly. Pl well, plenty of booty. Plenty of booty. Will she be going into Davy Jones' locker? That's what we want to know. Look at this. Wow, what a counter by Taya. Those powerful legs of Taya. And Taya now helping herself back up to her feet. Comes into the corner but eats that quad right to the gut. And now Irish whip and she pulls her all the way across the ring. Follows it up. Missing. And now. Vicious forearms there by Taya Valkyrie over and over again. Taya looking for some energy from the crowd. Comes back in. Uh oh. Stiff kick to the gut. Taya. DDT! And she spiked her hard. And Katrina <laughs> Lee might be out. I think she's out. She's out on her feet. Katarina has no idea where she is. She seems to be climbing to her feet off of instinct alone. Swings wildly and misses. Taya to the ropes. Spear! Speared her right in the gut. Took of, all the wind out of Katarina. A vicious spear by Taya as both women now down. And Jeremy Marcus begins his count. Both women down now. Who will it be? Will it be the union, the stars, the stripes of the Union Jack or the Canadian Maple Leaf? Which will rise to the top of the flag pole. Taya is certainly one of the toughest competitors in all of pro wrestling, and I think she may have underestimated Katrina, but not anymore. She threw that form with precision and with vigor, and she goes again for it. My God, those are so strong. I don't think Taya was expecting this kind of brawl out of Katie Lee. Katie Lee stepping up to the plate, wants to get through Taya and become a part of bar wrestling. She knows you have to go through Taya to be a part of this company. And look at this. Taya catches her. Taya uh -oh. is the bar of bar wrestling. And Taya, oh my goodness, <laughs> fall away suplex. Katie in a lot of pain now. Taya goes in for the cover. Dumped her unceremoniously, but only gets two. Two and a half, it was close, Loudon. And what do you think that Kat Katarina has to do to get back in this match with a veteran like Taya? I think she's gonna have to reach into that bag of dirty pirate tricks. She's gonna have to pull out some sort of skull of the uh, cursed skull of an octopus or something like that. <laughs> You're popping me on the broadcast, brother. Then I'm doing my job. Look at this. Going up to that middle territory, Short middle rope. I see another DDT. Oh my god. And that time it's Katie's turn to drive Taya face first into the mat. Picture perfect tornado DDT. Landed from the middle row, but a cover. Two, and just two now, says referee Jeremy Marcus. Taya able to get that shoulder up, and how embarrassing would it be for Taya to lose in her own home? You don't see it often, I know that. Taya's a competitor. She lives for the fight. She's got Katie Lee up in a progress. Wait a minute, Katie turns it over, hooks it down. She might get her so almost. So close, so close, oh, oh, Did you see that? Oh wow, she caught her foot there. Blows her a kiss. Single leg trip. Turns her over. Taya looking for some sort of a submission here. Hooks her up. Surfboard oh possibly. no. No, the stomp. Oh. My goodness, so vicious. Poor Katie Lee, she's out. Cover this woman. Oh, and she kicked out. Unbelievable. And she kicked out at two and nine tenths. And Katrina Lee lives to fight another day. You know, that might have been on instinct because Taya did not hook a leg. And that might have been the only reason Katie's still in this. Posts on the belly for the Inseguri, and she landed all of that. Taya goes down like a Jenga set. Come on, Taya. And now these two women trying to recover equally. 
Where is this match going? Taya now turning it around. Again, these two have each other scouted out very well. Katarina now, oh, face first into the canvas. That time she spiked it. And that's it. A three count by Jeremy Marcus. Taya Valkyrie with the win.